Hey, I was finally able to withdraw my new knife. Could you check it and give me an honest opinion on it? What did you buy? Ooh, very nice. Can you include the inspect link though? I don't want to guess the fade percentage. <laughs> I don't know the float. I don't know anything. Wait, I do. Oh, is this the pattern index? Because this would be 100% fade. It's 412. That is pretty sick. Ay, ay, ay. Guys, the fade percentage always is dependent upon the pattern index, right? There are multiple patterns that have 99.9% .9 fade. Many patterns, probably like 10 patterns or something. But there's only one pattern index where you can have the full 100% fade, only one single pattern index. This guy apparently bought one. This knife does not exist a lot of times. Six exist, and this is the one that he bought. 100% fade. Rome, can you say how much you paid? Yeah, this one, I guess. 1,300? 1.3K. Oh, yeah, this that one. I think you got a really good deal, no? I mean, this guy wants 5,000 bucks. That's That ain't gonna happen. One thing that I wanted to say, the same is the case on the Karambit fade. It's always pattern 412. It's the reverse on some other knives. On the M9, pattern 412 is the lowest percent fade. It's 80% fade. A true 80%. The lowest of the lowest of the lowest. Kind of weird how it works, but that's how it works. A little bit sad is that the corner on the pattern 412 is very bad. The pattern index basically declares how good the corner will be. The pattern index 412 in this case not just means the look of the knife like where the pattern is positioned but also where the scratches are positioned. So like if you have a 0.01 float 412 pattern karambit the corner is very bad and then you may have another karambit fade pattern I don't know any clean pattern index like 591 the corner may be flawless. It's weird how sometimes all of these things are intertwined. If you take a look at a karambit marble fade you have different maxes of of fire and ice is right you have a, a fake fire and ice where you still have some yellow on the blade but a true fire and ice is only red and blue and you have different tiers for that you have a second max a third max a fourth max and you have a, a first max for second max there are multiple pattern indexes but for the first max the most amount of red the most amount of fire and ice you can have is as well pattern index 412 it's exactly the same it's all intertwined this is the best possible fire and ice karambit pattern index 412 to the only first max pattern on 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 fade knives 412 is highest percent fade on marble fades 412 is the first max fire and ice and that's also the same case like these pattern indexes they are always intertwined 661 akk sudden right that's a blue jam on the ak everyone knows the akk sudden uh, scar pattern ak scar pattern right blue jam there's a thousand other patterns and most of them won't have any blue jams on them like any good blue but it's always somewhat intertwined now we can check for example bayonet k sudden 661 and it's also who would have guessed a blue gem right we have the scar right here we can check flip knife pattern index 661 and what do we have a scar pattern blue gem this is all placed by the way these are all placed at blue gems karambit 661 is also a blue gem this right here beach pattern karambit they are all blue gems talon knife case hardened pattern index 661 is not a front side blue gem but a backside blue gem. This is one of the best backside blue gems. All intertwined. All intertwined. I think like every pattern index has a specific positioning on the template, right? And 661 is coming. always um, somewhat here. The the bayonet will be put somewhere here. The karamid will be put somewhere here. The AK somewhere here. I guess the, the, the numbers are always like determining on the template where it is. Kinda cool, man. Kinda cool, no?